Hi, my name is Emma Comstock Reed. I'm an eighth grade math teacher. And this week's video is about how to create an applet in GeoGebra. So, GeoGebra is a really cool website. Um, you can also look up applets that other people have created, and it can be very helpful for this unit on the Pythagorean theorem and irrational numbers. So, I do encourage you to look and see what else is out there. For this week's lesson on day 11, when students are noticing the relationship between different types of triangles, the side lengths, and their squares, um, I took kind of the visual from one of the earlier slides and I made it adjustable so that they could test out how changing the vertices of the triangle changes the length of the sides and the square of the sides. So there's a lot that you can do on GeoGebra. I'm just going to show how I created this app uh, in the hopes that it can help you create an app for any lesson you might be working on in the future, but especially with units like this where it helps for students to visualize um, kind of challenging concepts like the Pythagorean theorem and irrational numbers, I thought it was a good time to focus on this. So I'm going to move to a different screen now. So this is just the basic GeoGebra home screen. This is where you will end up if you just click GeoGebra.com. You can search for different resources here. You can see I was looking up Pythagorean and Triangle um, before I ended up creating my own. And then um, you will want to have an account that you can link to Google Classroom. This is my account that I just created with my DOE account. Uh, and then when you want to create something new, I'm going to show you exactly where to click. So there are a few different ways um, to create a new applet, but this is the easiest way in my opinion, and that is to click this little tile section, um, and then it just depends on what you want to create. I think it's really best for geometry. So I clicked geometry this time. And then this is kind of the space where I created that applet. So the first decision you want to make is whether there should be a grid in the background or not, um, and whether you uh, want there to be major grid lines or major and minor grid lines. Um, I think for most purposes, it's nice to have the major grid lines so that students can kind of stay oriented. And then you can see on the left, we have different options. So you can create a line segment by clicking set segment. Um, you can create a polygon like this just by clicking. And there's our polygon. Um, and then you can see when we click the move that we can keep these vertices but change the side of the triangle. And then there are a lot of different buttons and it really just depends on what you want to create. So when I was making the squares on each side length, I scrolled down to regular polygon. And of course that just makes a polygon with uh, regular sides, so congruent sides. So if I click, let's say side AB, I say I want four sides, it'll create my regular square and then whenever, if I go back to move, then whenever I move the side length of my triangle, it also moves my square. So that was all I really needed to do for um, the applet that I created for this particular lesson. I just did that for each side of the triangle. Um, but there are some other really helpful functionalities that I wanted to show you. Um, which are to have it display the length of sides if you would like. So students in day 11, they had to come up with the side lengths themselves based on the square of the side. So I didn't want them to be able to see all of the side lengths or it would really take away all of the discovery. But if I did want to measure the distance or length and have, say, students notice the changes as we change where the vertices are, you would just click that measure length and then it would show the links as we change. And you can see you can also choose the area option if you would like. You can make it show the measure of angles by clicking the angle tool and then clicking the vertex where you want the angle to show. Right, that shows all our 90 degree angles. Um, and then that can be nice when you're doing something like transformations, which you have the capability to do at the bottom here. So there are lots of different tools, um, and you can 
of course, play around with them yourself and just think about, well, what do you want students to see? What do you want them to be able to change? What do you not want them to be able to change? And when you're done, what you can do is save the applet that you created, give it a name. And once you've saved, you can download as a GeoGebra file and then it's saved on your computer. And if you want to create an activity for your students, once you've created a teacher account and added your class, you can go back to your home page and then you can create either they have a book or an activity. So I would start by just making an activity that's more of like a one page sort of virtual worksheet. And in your activity, you can give it a title. And then at this point, when you want to add in your app that you created, you just click GeoGebra, upload applet. You're going to choose the file that you just created on your own. And then you can see here, you probably want to change the dimensions so that they're a little bit smaller. And once you have the dimensions how you want, um, you can save. So your um, applet is there. And then you can always also add some questions. And when you have it ready and that's how you want your assignment to be and you've linked your classes in Google Classroom, you can always just click share and share it with link. And you can just share that link with whoever you want to be able to use your applet or if you go back to your home page, let me go back to my home page to show you. Um, or you can click share here and put it in Google Classroom. So I hope this was a good intro to GeoGebra. You might want to start by looking for something that someone else created. Um, but that's just a quick primer on how to create your own applet. Have a nice day.